Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this soft brown smoky eye using all Benefit Cosmetics products. So if you're interested, just keep watching. First, to protect the skin, always make sure to use sunscreen. I'm taking Benefit's Dream Scream sunscreen with SPF 45 and just applying it all over the face. To smooth out fine lines and pores and also keep my foundation on a lot longer, I'm going to apply my professional primer all over the face. Once my skin is prepped, I'm going to go in with the Hello Flawless foundation in the shade Petal and I'm just going to be applying this with my Beauty Blender. To color correct the darkness underneath my eyes, I'm going to go in with Shy Beam and I'm just going to add a small amount right in the inner corners and blend it out with my Beauty Blender. just love this product so much because it's really lightweight, it doesn't crease up and it really helps brighten underneath the eyes. For extra coverage underneath the eyes and also to highlight the face, I'm going to go in with Stay Don't Stray Concealer in light and I'm just going to add it underneath the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the forehead, on the chin, and a little bit on the cupid's bow, and again, blend it out with my Beauty Blender. To cream contour, I'm going to go in with Do The Hula, and I'm just going to use this to warm up the face. I'm going to be adding it to the areas that we usually contour the face. I just laid down the product with my finger and then blended it out with the Beauty Blender. To set everything in place, I'm going to go in with my Hello Flawless Face Powder in also Petal and I'm just going to take the sponge that's provided in the kit and press the powder into the skin. And this powder is amazing, it makes your skin look so smooth. And after we set the face, we're going to go in with the very popular Hoola Bronzer. And I'm going to take the brush that's in the kit. And I love using this brush just because it gives you a really precise contour. And I'm just going to use this and add it to the contour areas and also on the forehead. I'm also going to take a little brush and also use it as my nose contour. And after that, I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush and blend everything together so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in with the powder and that same sponge and I'm going to cut the contour and I'm just going to leave it to bake for a little bit and then later I'm going to blend everything out. For blush, I'm going to go in with my favorite blush, not just from Benefit, from all brands. This is Sugar Bomb Blush and I'm just going to apply it with a blush brush all over the apples of the cheeks. Now with a fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend out that bake that we did earlier. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter by Benefit. This is What's Up Highlighter and it's a cream formula. I'm just going to take my finger and apply it to the tops of my cheekbones a little bit on the bridge of the nose, on the tip of the nose, and some on the cupid's bow. For brows today, I'm really excited because I'm actually going to be using the new Benefit Brow Collection and this first product is the Bravo Conditioning Primer that has keratin and soy in it and this is going to promote stronger brows. And then after that, I'm going in with Cabrow Cream Gel and this has a brush on the top which is super cute and convenient and I'm just going to flip it over and use it. This is in the shade number 4 and I'm just going to use it on the ends of the brow like the tail area and leave the fronts open which I'm going to be using the next product which is precisely my brow pencil also in number four and this is a really nice fine tip pencil and it's the smallest in the market right now and I'm just going to use this just to draw little hair strokes in the front because I don't have any hair then to set the brows I'm going in with gimme brow in the shade number five and this is basically a microfiber gel that's kind of like a mascara so it thickens up the hair which gives you an appearance of fuller brows. Now for the eyes I'm going to go in with Stay Don't Stray concealer again and clean up 
the brows and then I'm also going to use it for the primer for the lids because it's also an eyeshadow primer. First I'm going to be going in with a transition shade and the actual shade I'm using is Hula which is the bronzer from earlier and I'm just going to use this as my transition shade. As I base to my smoky eye, I went with My Two Cents Creaseless Cream Shadow which is a beautiful golden shadow and I'm just going to apply this with my finger. I went with a golden shadow because I feel like it really brought out the bronze in this eyeshadow. This is Kiss Me, I'm Tipsy and it just looks so beautiful on top of the golden base. It just makes it look so bronze and golden, just so pretty, perfect for summer. And I'm just tapping the shadow on top of the base with a flat shader brush. And also occasionally going in with my transition shade and blending everything out. And to line the waterline and also tight line the eyes, I'm going to go in with this brown waterproof bad gal liner. Now I'm going to take the flat shader brush and a little bit of the brown shadow on the tip of the brush and I'm just going to use this to smudge out the bottom lash line and also smoke everything out. To highlight the inner corners, I'm taking What's Up highlighter and just applying it with my finger. For mascara, I'm going to start off with the Their Real Lash Primer and you can actually use this by itself. It's conditioning and it's a really pretty brown shade so it looks really natural but I'm going to use it underneath the black they're real mascara there you go that's the one right there and this is just gonna make it look a lot thicker even though I have like no lashes this mascara makes my lashes look so long and thick for Fossey today I'm gonna take Benefit's pinup eyelashes and these are actually my favorite lashes by Benefit and I'm just gonna apply this as close to the lash line as possible Once the lashes are on, we're going to move on to lips and for this look, I really wanted a nude lip but Benefit doesn't really have any nude lipsticks so I went ahead and used the Stay Don't Stray Concealer and applied it all over the lips first just to wash out the color that I have on my lips and then I went in with Dallas Lip Gloss and just applied it on top for a little bit more color and it was the perfect nude lip gloss. And to set your beautiful creation and also hydrate your face, I'm going to go in with the Ultra Radiance Mist and just spray this all over the face. And this stuff smells so good, guys. And we're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Jacket. It's just so cute. And this is by Rachel Roy. Yeah, Rachel Roy. I got it in a size small, but it's supposed to be oversized, so it's actually really big.